I'm joined by Andrew Van Leeuwen here. He's racing in the Formula Four division. Andrew, you've had a strong family history with your, you know, with this car. And uh, would you like to tell me what the history is? And I think your father was involved initially, wasn't he? Absolutely. So my dad started racing Formula Fords here at Wanneroo Raceway, cargo.com.au raceway. Back in 1983 was cool. the first time he raced. So, Fantastic. And he's had pretty much a consistent involvement since that time. So um, driving himself, he still races himself. He'll race at some point. This year, and a car that he's been driving since about 1986 or 87 as well. The same history. car. It's probably a car that's done more laps around this track. There wouldn't be many cars that have done more laps around this track than his old form of the Ford. Yeah, okay. It's not here this weekend. It's not here today. Um, but yeah, we've been. That's how long we've been involved in this sport. I first raced a form of the Ford here in 2001. Um, I had quite a long break away um, from the sport, came back in 2022. Because it is a huge commitment, fun. isn't it, Andrew? It is like, a big it's commitment. It's a massive commitment. It is a big commitment. There's obviously a financial element. The good thing is this is about as affordable as motor racing will get at this sort of level where you are driving a proper A great way to car. enter motorsport, basically. Absolutely. I yeah. mean, we can get onto that. These cars are the absolute. You won't drive anything that's much more fun. It's a purpose-built race car. It doesn't break down like some other categories where you're trying to turn road cars into yeah. race cars. Um, so for what you're spending, you're getting a whole lot in Formula Ford, and that's why we've really stuck with this category um, for so many years just because – Great fun to drive, reasonably affordable. It is a big commitment. But, oh, it sure is. Um, if and one thing I've noticed racing, also here at, at, at the raceway is that the amount of like family lineage between yeah. generations, you know, racing, not, yeah. not in the same car maybe, but at least they're actually involved in the motorsport and they understand what's involved and the dedication required to make, make a success of it. Definitely. I mean, um, when I was a kid, I watched, you know, my dad race against Joe Ricardo, who's Dan Ricardo's dad. You yeah. know, there's Xavier Henderson's racing this weekend. Yeah. When I was a kid, I watched his dad, Michael Henderson, race against dad. You know, these are all family. I've got Brett Lupton that runs fast lane up there. He's been involved in Formula Ford for as long as we have. Um, and, you know, he's he's helped the likes of Dan Ricardo on his way, won a national Formula Ford championship with Garth Tander. Um, so, you know, again, a name that's just synonymous with Formula Ford here in Western Australia. Um, and it's just, it's, you know, this is a club at the end of the day. It you is. You know, and it's yeah. a club atmosphere. And it's something that we really need to make sure the club holds on to is that this is a club atmosphere because, you know, I want my son to come up and race here as well because that's, it's it's such a fantastic, fantastic way yeah. to spend a, yeah. a weekend. Um, and that's um, that's really what we need to really remember here is that this is a club and it's all about going out there and driving cars fast and having fun. Have you raced anything else at all? Have you ever like sort of got outside this division and tried I've, something else? I've been really lucky in my career as a journalist that I've got to drive a lot of different racing cars. So I've driven V8 supercars and all sorts of powerful open wheelers and sports cars and that sort of stuff. I've never done a lot of competitive racing outside of Formula 4 just because this is what I know and this is what I love and this is what we have, this sort of infrastructure to run these cars. Yeah. Um, so I haven't done a lot of racing outside of it. And again, for sort of the budget that I'm working to, I, nothing will be as much fun as this yeah, or okay. as competitive as this anyway. So that's why we kind of hang around doing this. And who's your biggest competition in this category? Probably that bloke behind me, to be honest, my teammate, young Josh okay. Matthews. He won the uh, he won the state championship in 2020, and he uh, he can't do every round because of his own work commitments. But he's always really quick. You know, fast lady got some great young guys. Thomas Chapman driving really, really well. Uh, I think he's going to be pretty tough to beat. He won the first race here this morning. He'll be pretty tough to beat this year. But it's mostly just good, clean racing as well. This is I was running a, an older model car last year. This is the first I had not driven this race car until this morning, basically. Okay. Um, so. I'm on a bit of a learning curve, but I stuck on the back of the pack in that first race, and it just, it's just hard racing, but it's hard. Yeah, yeah, I'm just trying to learn. I don't want to tangle wheels with anyone yeah, this weekend, yeah. but um, it's just good hard racing, but good, good clean racing as well, and a bunch of guys. We're all mates. We all have a beer at the end of the day, you know, up at the fast lane shed yeah. and we, uh, and that's the way you want to go racing. Keep as well. it social as well, which is a Absolutely. great aspect of being yeah. in any club. So for anyone wanting to get into racing, why should they go Formula Ford? Because you just won't find a car that's more fun to drive at this sort of financial level. And you can race. The thing is, there's lots of categories out there where you can drive around. This is racing. You will be in the pack. You'll have cars everywhere. You'll learn a heck of a lot. Um, and it's just so incredibly rewarding. And if you can go out, we are, we're lucky. We're blessed to have a fantastic state championship here. Yeah. We've seen some great young drivers come from the east, come over here and race because it is so competitive. It's a great facility. It is. There's um, no doubt about it. And, it's, and, you know, that's if you do well in this category, the cars are hard to drive, it's competitive, 
you're good. You're doing something right. And if you want to, you can actually take the next steps because if you do well here, you're actually going to be good enough. And then you got other guys like myself, like Josh, who just like coming out here and bashing wheels every few weekends yeah, and right. doing it. You know, it's our game of golf and you can do that as well. So um, that, that's why this is the best category. But for 50 years, Formula Ford has been the place to go out of go-karting. And as much as there's other junior categories have come along in that time, Nothing beats it. Nothing will beat the right. grounding you'll get in one of these cars. Well, I wish you great success in 2024, Thank Andrew. You. I'm sure you'll have a great season. And congratulations on a great career. Awesome. It's Thank great you. to have you with us. Awesome. Thank Thanks you. very much. Thanks for watching. To find out more, get on to the West Australian Sporting Car Club YouTube channel, and we'll see you at the racetrack really soon.